In the past century, technology has been developing rapidly thanks to people in power supporting continuous wars all over the planet, which now include military robots. Because of industrial overdevelopment, natural disasters, and non-stop wars, global ecology has crumbled, and now diseases and famine shroud the world, filling the air with high levels of toxins. This has caused babies to be born with severe illnesses, like the daughter of elite pilot Tyler, who died from a pollution-caused illness while she was still a child. In order to try to restore the environment, governments around the world have built domes known as skynets that could purify the toxic air. But during the building process, a giant meteorite fell onto District B-16 and brought a giant alien plant that scientists have named Pandora. This plant thrives in water and wreaks serious havoc around the city trying to find it, but ironically it's also capable of purifying the whole atmosphere. A temporary command center is set up on B-16 by ASU, Hong Kong's military force. Tyler works there with his brother-in-arms Commander Johnson and junior officer Connor, who is dating communications officer Lucy. One day, Johnson welcomes Colonel Tam to the base, who has been sent by the Genetics Alteration Project. She brings with her a whole army of robots, which makes Johnson wary because he thinks they aren't reliable. Johnson, Tam, and her team meet with Sean Lee, Commander-in-Chief of District B-16 and one of the forces behind Project Skynet. Tam's team has developed a gene bullet that will stop Pandora's growth without destroying it, that way they can stop the havoc but keep the air purifier at the same time. However there are two storms coming soon that could make Pandora grow into the nearest town, so they need to act before it begins to rain. Sean Lee doesn't like the idea of losing his precious domes, but the team assures him is for the good of humanity. A few pilots will provide assistance to the robots that will carry out the mission, but if they fail their objective before the second storm starts, Tam already has plan B, which consists of sending orca bombers. This will destroy the plant but also cause 160,000 casualties, which sounds horrible but it's better than losing the millions that Pandora would kill if it grows again. Johnson doesn't like that there aren't evacuation plans for these casualties, but he has no choice but to obey, and he and Tam go to explain the plan to the pilots. They must shoot contrast agent bombs into Pandora during the first rainstorm and allow the base scanners to find the central pistol, then they'll send the robots to the corresponding location to apply the gene bullet. Tyler doesn't like that Tam doesn't have information on waiting times and won't comment on the fact the plant may react badly to the bullets, which means his men could die. In return Tam doesn't like Tyler either for this attitude, but Johnson assures her he's the best man for the job. Johnson also reminds Tam he's against plan B, so he'll let his soldiers carry this until the end. Meanwhile in the B-16 temporary settlement area, former pilot Skunk sees the aircrafts taking off base and remembers when he used to work with Tyler and Johnson, but there's nothing he can't do for his friends now. Tyler is paired up with Connor and Lincoln for the mission, and all the aircraft reach the target area just in time for the first storm. They inject the contrast agent successfully, but now they must fly in circles around Pandora until the base can finish the scan, and that means going against the plant's lashing vines. Bullets aren't enough to stop it, and one by one the aircraft are destroyed or crashed to the ground. Fortunately Tyler's aircraft is only hit on the fuel tank, giving Tyler enough time to pull off a quick maneuver that saves them from crashing and finally finds Pandora's pistol underneath the building. Tam immediately sends an Orca aircraft with the robots to start the next step in the plan, but while hiding in his office, Sean Lee remotely takes control of the robots and sabotages the mission, causing Orca to crash. He also activates a device that blocks all communication in the area, meaning Tyler's team can't talk to the base anymore. Unable to ask for help, the aircraft crashes in an improvised landing, and Lincoln gets hurt in the process, so Tyler and Connor drag him to the nearest hospital. At the base, Tam is ready to start plan B but Johnson reminds her that the second storm isn't here yet and volunteers to take the gene bullet to the pistol in a truck. Tam accepts but only gives him three hours before she unleashes plan B afterward. Tam checks with Lucy, who explains the weather officer found a current of over 70,000 volts when Orca went off the radar, probably caused by the thunderstorm. Tam doesn't believe a thunderstorm can get rid of so many ships so quickly and orders Lucy to find the truth behind the incident. Moments later, Johnson arrives at the settlement area to look for Skunk and asks him to join him in the mission. Skunk refuses to risk his life for free, thus Johnson promises him he can keep the truck and gain access to lots of food stamps as payment when this is all over, now Skunk's officially his driver. Back to the soldiers, Tyler leaves Connor in charge of covering Lincoln's wound while he looks around to find medicine and supplies. There's something hiding in the shadows that they can't see, but the noises worry Connor, so Lincoln convinces him to go and check because he's fine. Meanwhile Tyler comes across an old bunny that reminds him of his daughter, unaware that the owner, a girl called Pansy, is still hiding in the hospital. At that moment, Tyler hears some noises too and tries to communicate with Connor, his message ends up appearing on Johnson's truck as well, sending the signal they need to find them. Suddenly, Tyler's attacked by the source of those noises, a mantis-like creature that Pandora has hatched without them knowing. Thankfully he reacts quickly and after some struggle to get it off him, he shoots the monster until he kills it. Connor isn't as lucky though, when he goes back to check on Lincoln, he finds another one of these creatures devouring his friend and he runs away when the alien comes after him next. 
Nothing that Connor throws at the beast can stop it and he ends up hiding inside the morgue refrigeration unit. The alien can't break it, so instead it goes looking for its siblings to team up. After sharing a location with Lucy, Johnson puts on a special suit and orders Skunk to wait while he enters the hospital to look for their friends. The monsters are now approaching Pansy, who is trying to hide among the beds, and when they finally find her, Tyler shows up and quickly shoots the beast to save her. After giving Pansy back the bunny, Tyler drags her with him through the corridors as more aliens come after them, and they get to escape, thanks to Johnson showing up in his suit to kill the reminding beasts. While Johnson sends news of these creatures to the base and Sean Lee intercepts the message, Tyler goes looking for Connor, who tells him the bad news about Lincoln. Meanwhile being in the truck is making Skunk remember the day he left the force. Tyler had scolded him for driving away during a dangerous mission and leaving many men to die, and Skunk explained he did because he knew that they had been sent to die on that mission on purpose because Skynet didn't care about their lives. According to Tyler, if he wasn't ready to die he couldn't be a soldier, and Skunk was forced to leave after 30 years of brotherhood is reminiscing is interrupted by a message from Jocelyn, who is running away with the others from the aliens that won't stop coming out. Johnson sends Skunk a meeting location and Skunk rushes to that area to use a special weapon on the hospital wall, opening an improvised escape route for his friends to come out. Once they're safe in the truck, Connor sends a new scan of the pistol to Lucy, who uses this chance to make her boyfriend promise he'll come back alive. Tam is having an argument with Sean Lee because he wants to start Plan B already, but Lucy bringing the latest scan allows Tam to buy more time until the second storm comes. Johnson wants to go looking for the gene bullets in the crashed orca, but Tyler points out they can't be sure if the bullets are even intact, which makes Skunk hesitate because this could mean risking their lives for nothing. A new argument starts that reminds them of the day Skunk left, but it's cut short when Johnson gets the orders from Tam. They must retrieve the bullets, otherwise the base will kick off plan B and they'll die anyway. When the truck comes closer to the crash site, Connor's scanner gets a signal from the box with the gene bullets, meaning they're fine. They send a drone to find the exact location under all the debris, and Lucy takes the chance to inform Connor in secret that a military signal blocked their communications earlier, so he should find the robot head that did it. Connor asks to team up with Johnson in the search, thus Tyler decides to stay in the truck with Pansy to comfort her. The girl is scared because she lost her family and keeps reminding Tyler of when he lost his daughter, prompting him to promise he'll never leave. After a long walk among the destroyed buildings, Johnson and Connor find the drone marking the location in an area above them. Johnson decides to use his suit injectors to pull off the jumps he needs, but the injectors fail him and he's left hanging on the edge of a precipice. Fortunately Tyler shows up at that moment wearing his own suit and saves him to then continue the search together. Eventually they find the bullet inside a car that is hanging on a thread, so Johnson uses a firefighter hose to carefully lower Tyler inside it and he grabs the bullet right before the car falls into the abyss. Meanwhile Connor finds a grenade pin that indicates which robot sabotaged the mission and immediately takes off its head. Skunk is keeping an eye on the radio and hears his friend talk about him through the communicators, prompting him to finally man up and put on a suit again to join them, leaving Pansy alone in the truck. Back to Johnson and Tyler, they begin to run when they're found by more alien beasts, and all the fighting and shooting they do against them cause the buildings around them to start to crumble. With the help of their injectors, they manage to jump over the falling debris and reach Connor on the ground, but at that moment, a few cars begin to fall. Johnson pushes Tyler out of the way and they're left hanging off an edge as another car falls on top of Connor, trapping him under it. Tyler and Johnson rush back to the surface to move the car away from their friend, only to be ambushed by another alien. Luckily Skunk arrives just in time to kill the beast and take the team away with him, opening an escape route through the fallen buildings by using his special weapon. The group makes it back to the truck safely and Connor connects the robot head to his computer to confirm there was foul play. Tyler wants to blame Tam, but Johnson immediately points out Sean Lee was the one that didn't want to lose the business of building domes. Connor follows the signals on the robot and confirms it was indeed Lee, so Johnson calls him to tell him off, but Sean Lee doesn't care. He's determined to pull off plan B to destroy Pandora and its air purifier, thus he cuts off their communications again and sends his robots after them. Tam realizes they've lost contact with the team and announces that if they can't communicate in 30 minutes, they'll kick off plan B. Skunk drives as fast as he can toward the location of the pistol, but the first robot manages to find them anyway and opens fire as it chases them on the highway. The team shoots back, but the bullets aren't enough to hurt it, and soon two smaller robots also find them and jump on top of the truck. Skunk decides to get risky and run over the first robot with the truck, this causes enough damage to its armor for the others to finally shoot it for good. Next, Tyler jumps on the roof to kick one of the robots off, but this only allows it to fall into the back door and drop a grenade inside the truck. Skunk tells Pansy to grab it and throw it out the window while Johnson fights the robot hand to hand, which is getting difficult because his suit is running out of battery. As a fourth robot shows up in the front of the truck, Tyler manages to rip his robot's head off, then he immediately jumps back into the truck to kick the enemy attacking Johnson off the highway bridge. Then Connor manages to find Skunk's special weapon and shoots off the robot at the front window. At that moment, the first robot shows up again and sends a missile after them. 
Skunk manages to dodge it, but it still blows up the highway bridge, forcing Skunk to pull off a very difficult jump that lands them on the other side. The robot crosses with them by hanging on the truck and tries to make them fall, so Johnson hands Tyler the gene bullet before jumping on the robot to get it off the truck and falling into the abyss with it. The team grieves their friend as they make their way to the pistol, unaware that Johnson is actually still alive. At the base, Tam is getting ready to launch Plan B and Sean Lee activates his strongest robot to go after the team. Lucy receives that signal too and shows it to Tam to prove Lee is the one behind all this. Back to the team, Tyler gives Connor the bullet and sends Pansy to hide while he and Skunk stay to fight against the huge robot. Skunk concentrates on returning the fire while Tyler jumps on top of the robot to destroy the signal jammer, which allows the people at the base to know they're okay and gives Tam a reason to confront Sean Lee, who still refuses to cancel Plan B. Meanwhile Connor hides Pansy in a safe place while he activates an explosive that opens a hole in the ground to reach the pistol. Skunk's special weapon isn't enough to stop the robot, so he warns Connor to get him to run away, only for yet another small robot to show up to stop him. Tyler jumps in just in time to fight this robot while Connor runs to hide with Pansy, but things get hard for him because his suit's starting to run out of battery too. As the big robot begins destroying the buildings, Tyler remembers his daughter and the promise he made to Pansy, which makes him go berserker and destroy the small robot using a car door. Skunk decides to take a risk and waits for the big robot to be close enough to hit it on its weak spot with his special weapon, effectively destroying it. At that moment, the second storm arrives and Pandora's vines begin growing all over the place. The second orca is flying by to launch Plan B, but Tam chooses to disobey Lee and cancels it. Tyler is starting to think they lost Pansy to the destruction caused by the robots, by Johnson suddenly shows up with the girl and the bullet he saved from Connor. Afterward, Johnson enters Pandora's pistol, which is surrounded by eggs and more of those bug-like aliens. Johnson hurries to throw the bullet at Pandora, instantly neutralizing all the creatures and the growth right before the vines reach the settlement area. Pandora has been defeated, and everyone at the base celebrates they'll be able to purify the air soon. Cam gets ready to arrest Sean Lee, but on her way to his office, she hears a gunshot. It turns out Sean Lee preferred to end things rather than live without his precious Skynet. A week later, society is beginning to move on and rebuild, and Tyler accepts a mission to travel to the moon to identify the signal coming from there. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.